I've just decided that I'm going to drive 13 hours tomorrow, leaving at 4 a.m. to go up to Exmouth. It is currently 10 p.m., completely spontaneously. Uh, I've been thinking about it for the last couple of days, and literally just tonight I was making it, I was like, yep, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> It's currently 5am, so we're running a little bit behind time. Just finished packing everything up, ready to go. I did wake up at about 3.45 this morning. Uh, it just took longer than planned to get everything in the car, get everything packed and make sure I didn't miss anything. First up, I'm going to go get some fuel and then I'll be heading straight to Geraldton, which is about four and a half hours. And that'll be a stopover to grab food and then I think we'll just send it all the way to Exmouth. So let's go. I'm super keen. I'm pumped, feeling great. I've only had about five hours sleep, but... We're loving it, so let's go. All fueled up. Next up, Geraldton. We're about two hours in so far. Sun's just coming up, first bit of light coming over here. You can see a little bit of colour coming in the sky. It's be a beautiful sunrise. Sun still won't be up properly, I think, for another half hour or so. Look at this sunrise. It's friggin' unreal. I don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but damn, she's beautiful. Just arrived in Geraldton. It's 9.20, so we made a pretty decent time. I've just gone to film and I was just digging around trying to find my ND filter. And I have a horrible feeling that I haven't brought it. I shot a wedding the other day and I was using it to do some slow shutter photos. I remember putting it back in my pocket after I took it off the lens. And I don't remember where I put it after that. I don't have an ND filter. Bit of an issue for shooting video. So currently we're just pumping the um, aperture up on this one. I might have to see if Georgian has a camera store if they have any ND filters. I'm not even sure if they would wood here to be honest. I'm gonna to have to try it. It's a Saturday though so I'm not liking my chances. Headed out of Jerry now. All stocked up. Food, fuel, everything sorted except an ND filter. I guess I'm gonna be shooting this trip without an ND filter. Look, shit happens and um, not at all ideal. I generally always have it on one of my lenses, so I just didn't even think about it. it. It just didn't even cross my mind that it wouldn't have been in the kit. So it's always on one of my lenses. I thought it was on one of my lenses. I swear I checked that it was. It's not. So, yeah, we're just gonna have to make do. I'm currently just gonna crank the shutter speed. Absolutely kills me. But hey, it's not gonna be the end of the world. It's just not gonna be as cinematic as I would like it. I'll probably just focus on shooting real key shots around sunset, sunrise, so that I can keep that shutter rule 820 k's to X mouth. So a long way to go. It took me about an hour all together in Geraldton to get food, fuel, and hunt around for an ND with no success. So we're running a little bit behind schedule now. I think ETA is about 6.30, so just gonna miss the sunset, but that's all right. On the road with the motor. Just had a quick stop, only 600 k's left to go. Over halfway now, it's uh, just after one, but just had a quick stop only because it's a bit of a tradition. If you're heading up north in WA, you kind of have to stop at the Billabong Roadhouse. If you don't have a photo there, did you really go up north? That's literally the only reason I stopped, so I was there for like two minutes, got my shot, kept driving. And all we want to do is fall in love, yeah. Just over 200 kilometers left to go. Just turned onto the Exmouth Road off the main highway. And we've made it to the land of blue sky. There isn't a cloud in sight. I actually had the air con on before because it's gotten pretty bloody warm. It's funny going from Perth where it was cloudy and fucking freezing this morning. And now it must be almost 30 degrees and I'm sweating. We've got 120 k's left, so just over an hour and we're just about to lose the sun. Sun's just, just above the horizon still. Beautiful, 
golden glow sunset, the classic Exmouth sunset. Today driving, it just reminded me how much I do love being on the road and very excited for the upcoming road trip all the way around Australia, starting over in Cairns. So that's gonna be pretty epic. We made it, let's go. And we made it just in time to get to the IGA before a shot at 7pm and um, just picked up some parmesan cheese, meeting some mates, and they need parmesan for their pasta. We gotta stretch my legs, have some food, get a fat nap, get up for sunrise tomorrow and explore this beautiful place. Good morning. Just packed up camp, heading into town for crew gonna go grab coffee. Clouds have come over today, it's looking fairly overcast. I think today the weather's not supposed to be the best, but next couple of days after that are looking pristine. Very excited for that. Just arrived at Osprey Bay, which is one of the main reasons I even came up to Exmouth because I've heard there's like sharks around here recently. Super excited to get in the water and explore. Hopefully there's some turtles as well. Just about to chuck the R5 with the 35 mil in my housing. I'm just going to change over the lens port and put on the dome port and then get it all vacuum sealed up and we'll be good to go. I just set up all my settings for underwater. Obviously we've got very limited control on underwater. Because I don't have an ND filter, I'm going to just have to crank the shutter speed. So I've just changed my dials around so I control the shutter speed from in the housing. The silicon on the seal, make sure that's all sealed up well. Day three in Exmouth. Yesterday was unfortunately unsuccessful trying to find leopard sharks, but we're back for round two. Uh, we did end up finding a big stingray and we found some turtles, which is sick. Got some really cool shots of turtles, so I stoked with that, but it's a pretty long ass swim out to the buoy. I think it's over a kilometer to get out to the buoy, so it's a bit of a trek to swim out, but well worth it. The snorkeling out there was just insane, like the co coral life and fish, so beautiful. But this morning, just flown the drone and so stoked, found three dugongs cruising by just something absolutely my bucket list to get in the drone it's been a good morning so far the winds dropped right off it's pristine conditions barely a cloud in sight very excited to get back out there today hopefully the clarity's gonna be even better today because the winds dropped off <laughs>
dinner and prepped up breakfast for the next couple of days. Did another snorkel today, it's the third day, going out for a snorkel. Still no leopard sharks, yesterday was also unsuccessful, but um, got some sick shots of some reef sharks and the clarity was just insane. Such a beautiful snorkel, like it was just unreal. So no leopards, unfortunately, but still some epic shots. Super excited to go through everything and um, had some awesome encounters with the drone as well. I managed to get some dugongs the last couple of days, just been sick. Whales, dolphins, everything. So super stoked to have a look through all the footage and stuff but I'm gonna sit down to some dinner watch the last of the sun fade and hit the hay Still haven't finished editing and the cafe just shut, so I'm moving to the park. I'm gonna park up, keep editing the rest of the Arvo. Got so much to get through and waste so much of time just playing with color grades because the underwater stuff was really fun. Today has been a long day of editing. Spent pretty much the whole day parked up the cafe and then the park and didn't get the YouTube video done, not even near close. So that's gonna be coming out late. Sorry. Managed to post a quick reel though. Super stoked with the footage. I honestly just spent so much time going through and color grading and I think I'm gonna have to do a breakdown at some point on how I color grade underwater footage because it is such a process. <laughs> Completely different to how I grade any other kind of footage and um, takes a lot of time, but the results are so worth it if you get it right. Anyways, parked up at the beach for now. There's some markets going on down there. I'm gonna make myself some dinner, maybe go check out the markets and yeah, tomorrow is technically my last day here, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Make the most of it, probably go for another dive somewhere, and then hit the road on Saturday and fang it all the way back down to Perth.